Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the CNC Power Hour. My name is Chris, and uh, today with my co-host Clay, we are joined by uh, two great guests, uh, Steph Quad Nines. How are you, Steph? I'm so good. How are you? Doing all right. Thank you for being here. Do you want to tell people where they can find you? I imagine that uh, they know you a bit already. Uh, you're kind of you're yeah. kind of in a lot of places. Uh, my name is Stephanie, otherwise known as Quad underscore Nine S. That's Quad Nines. You can find me on the Twitter and the Twitch by the same name. Uh, if you want to throw me a follow on Twitter, you can become part of the Quad Squad today. And I am recently affiliated on Twitch. Woo woo! Uh, and when you follow me on Twitch, uh, there are some cool emotes that you can get. A uh, Commander Mechanic, hi Commander Mechanic in chat, is dropping some hashtag Quad Squad emotes in the chat right now if you want to take a look at what you can get. And today I am playing Cedar Kondo and Kedis. Um, he is my little lizard boy friend. I love his eyes. I think his eyes are totally rad on the, on the gold foiled etched. Um, and, uh, this is, uh, I want to punch everybody in the face equally. So nobody <laughs> gets picked on. Everybody has fun and everybody gets punched for equal <laughs> amounts. It's great. Uh, so I'm going to be playing aggro tonight. And uh, I'm really excited to be here. Thanks for having me, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for agreeing to, to play those. Because this is the first time that I think uh, either, you you haven't played with Clay either, right? Clay occasionally appears on other people's streams, but I don't have the chance to. So this is the first time that uh, you, you've gotten right. to play with either yeah. of us, which is really neat. Yes, yes. Um, I, I have watched uh, y'all playing before. Uh, and Clay and I, I believe we are mutuals on the Twitter, are we not? Uh, I'm fairly certain. If we if, if we if, aren't, if, then we need to fix that like right now. <laughs> if, we're not, if we're not, I keep annoying you, and so you keep seeing me. So <laughs> it's similar. <laughs> right on, awesome. And so we also have another first time guest, Andy from uh, Scrap Trawlers. Andy, thank you for joining us tonight. Hey, thank you for having me. Uh, so I'm Andy Zupke. You can find me on Twitter at Andy Zupke. And uh, I am one half of the Scrap Trawlers. We are a budget EDH uh, streaming and content group. You can find us on Twitch at Scrap Trawlers. Uh, every first and third Sunday of the month, we do budget EDH gameplay. And then every other Tuesday, we do Scrap Chat, where we just uh, talk about various EDH topics. So you can find us on Twitch. Uh, you can also find us on YouTube and on Twitter. And I am also a writer for Card Sphere. You can find my commander articles uh, every other week. And Stephanie is not following me. Oh, <laughs> oh the shame. Oh, no. <gasps> Proxy Lab, thank oh, you for yeah. the follow. Thank you, everybody in chat. Uh, for some reason, chat wasn't showing up, but uh, so many, so many people uh, from uh, you know I, I recognize from Twitter and Twitch, and uh, some returning guests, Andy, uh, our our friend Snail Safe, and of course, longtime follower Lush, uh, and uh, and Chris, yeah, um, Chris, frequent guest uh, and and collaborator, uh, yeah, sweet. Um, Andy, uh, who are you playing tonight? Yeah, I forgot to mention, I am playing Traxos, Scourge of Krug. This is all colorless. No colors in my deck whatsoever. So um, lots of cool artifacts, but I am going to struggle with the uh, interactions. Um, so on its on its surface, it's kind of a, a punchy deck, but uh, hidden within is a, a bit of a time bomb. So my goal is to um, get to a combo that will basically blow up the board, except for my stuff. I rarely get there, though, especially when okay. there's aggro players on the board, which is period. <laughs> There are a couple. Just uh just one or three. Um but uh yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, Clay, uh, my partner in crime, uh, one of one of many, actually, at this point. Uh, how you doing, buddy? I'm good. Well, I was saying I'm one of the originals, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> one yeah. Of the original. yeah. One of, one of the originals. Um, right. I brought the crime to the partnership. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm the second C in the CNC Power Hour. Uh, you can find me on Twitch and Twitter. Uh, I've got the MTG underscore Clay B now with the visible underscore. Um, but uh, yeah, basically, uh, I've guessed on different channels and like i've been like with spike feeders or uh i actually i got to play with uh andy before um and then also uh andy flory who's in chat <laughs> i got to be on the guardian pod as well um otherwise uh on twitter i just basically love uh you know talking about my animals and jank and janky animals yeah and janky <laughs> animals uh <laughs> Uh, I've got a really cool thread coming out on the uh, pink fairy armadillo. Uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, 
today, uh, today I'm playing uh, Rograk, son of Rogar, uh, my favorite angry little boy. Uh, and then uh, Akroma, Vision of Ixidor. Um, this deck was uh, a Rograk Arden deck. Um, but as I've added kind of more powerful equipment and some stronger stuff to the deck, I liked switching it up to like Arden just feels too for for me for my taste what I wanted to do with the deck. Uh, Arden was just super consistent and super mm -hmm. just like kind of I'm doing the same thing, uh, and so Crown was fun because there are games where I don't ever get to seven mana. So <laughs> we'll like you know sometimes I never cast my other partner, but uh, I like this deck. Uh, it is a it is a punch deck, um, which is out of my normal play style. So it is. Uh, uh, I'm excited. I love the deck, and um, yeah, Sweet. I'm excited to see what everybody does tonight. Yeah, um, me too. I'm. Oh, hey, Chris, thank you for the subscription. Appreciate that, buddy. Who likes what happened during the during the uh, Omna uh, during the uh, secret layer announcement with the uh, uh, with Uro? Uh, <laughs> I'm a I'm a big fan. Oh, what Andy? Hi, hi, hi. Thank you for the thank you for the sub. Two subs. Well, wow. we we've made it. My mom's gonna be so proud. Um, <laughs> So uh, I built Rasheen Meanderer last night, um, and so it's all uh, in on uh, on Hydras and creatures with activated abilities that have uh, X's in their in their mana costs and uh, some really big creatures. And it's all it's very permanent heavy. So we'll see how it goes. Thankfully, I'm not seeing any blue, so I don't think I'm going to get bounced. Uh, not going to have a repeat of, of Sunday's games, but uh, yeah, I'm kind of kind of excited. This is going to be my first game with it, um, but uh, I think it's uh, I think. It's at a pretty reasonable level. This is this is fascinating. There's no blue or black in this pod tonight. In this in this particular oh, yeah. matchup, is there? Ooh. No. Ooh. Sunday. Sunday we went. Was it game one that we didn't have any blue or green? What was or no green? Because I was blue. Because I no had green. Yeah, that's right. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So. <laughs> And then second game, everybody at least had a little bit of green because Krim kept copying stuff. So <laughs> <laughs> the green for was for the envy, right? <laughs> right. Um, free prime time and started asking for the unban. Yeah, that would be nice. I'm I'm still on the Splinter Twin Hill. I don't play modern, but I think it shouldn't be shouldn't be banned. But. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right. So, uh, we rolled up ahead of time and already decided mulligans. Uh, Steph, you won the die roll. Do you want to start us off? Yes. All right. Here we go, everybody. I am going to draw my first card. Woo! We're doing it, chat. We're getting there. <laughs> I'll play a forest and I'll pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We did it with our basic forest. We did it. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Um, play a mystifying maze and pass. All righty. I will draw. Um, hmm. Well, I'll go ahead and cast my commander and then <laughs> uh, I'll play an ancient tomb and pass. All righty. Interesting. Let's draw here. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I think this makes sense. Let's temple of abandon. So I'm going to scry real quick. And I do like that, but do I need to keep that on top? I don't think so. I will put that on the bottom and then I will pass over to Steph. All righty. I will draw. I will play mountain. And turn two. Um, I'll play the Sky Shroud Elf. Yay! <laughs> Hi there, little Naya Sky Shroud Elf. I will pass the turn. Oh, oop, awesome. So it's a oh neat. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this card. A little fun, right? All right, uh, untap and draw, and I will say thank you to Stephanie for finally following me on Twitter. That's so nice. Of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Hashtag called out. Wait, hold on. We can hashtag called out oh hey i just got a follow from stephanie the off lady <laughs> no, <come on. laughs> uh, i played a prismatic lens and uh pass the turn all righty we will draw <laughs> uh, it's Can't. Too funny all right we're gonna play we're gonna play a planes we're gonna tap i'm gonna take two from ancient tomb um, to play a sword of body and mind. Okay, that's fine. I mean, <laughs> you know, strong. it's just, boy. boy. Uh, and then I'm going to swing Chris for zero. Mm, how could you? All right, blood feud on. <laughs> blood feud, blood feud. Uh, Rograk, Rograk, like Rograk for nothing is my favorite. I hit Ken, our dear friend from Sack DDH. I hit him four times for zero. Uh, and he immediately, he was like, all right, that's it. Uh, here's Emmercool. And I was like, wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, all right, yeah, uh, time to return the favorite. And I was like, I did nothing. <laughs> 
Oh, it's a good time. All yep. Right. Armillary Sphere. Yep, Armillary I'm going to play this Armillary Sphere and pass. Okay. I will untap. I do like the Draw. idea of ley lining to get Rograk out before uh, somebody takes their turn. Oh, hey, Infinite Tokens. <laughs> hey, Infinite. <gasps> Hi, Infinite Tokens. Good to see you. <laughs> I'm going to play this now relevant exotic orchard. Because um, let me tell you, it, it went around the table one time and I saw all of this colorless mana drop from uh, Andy and Clavy. And I was like, oh, this I thought I was going to get a green. And uh... <laughs> uh, so, okay. So exotic orchard. Um, I think I will cut four now. Let's continue. This will be white. Uh, and I'm going to cast Duelist Heritage. And okay. I will cast the turn. It's a very cool political card. Because you can just choose to, you know, maybe knock somebody out of the game. Pretty neat. All right. <laughs> Land for turn is an Urza's Mine. Not yours, but mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play my card. Traxos comes in untapped. It uh, doesn't untap during my untap step. I will untap anytime I cast a historic spell, which includes all artifacts. And then I'll pass to Clavy. Alrighty. So untap. We draw. Uh, we'll go ahead and play a mountain. And then two red white, uh, taking two from Ancient Tomb. This is actually the first time I've ever actually got to play my Ancient Tomb. This is fun. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Happy for you. Uh, and so I then. Goods. Yeah, right? I'm going to play Nahiri, Heir of the Ancients. Hmm. Uh, so she's going to come in at four, but I'm going to go ahead and plus her. I'm going to create a core warrior. You're going to put the sword onto it? I am. Okay. But I'm taxing her like <laughs> the power of my ancestors. I grant that foe over yonder to strike my enemy. Yep. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> You're you're basically Rob Schneider in any Adam Sandler movie, just being like, you can do it, and then that's it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I, lo I love this. Zero. All right. Your funeral. <laughs> Steph, would you like to give Rograk double strike? <laughs> um. Uh, he's still zero, isn't he? Still zero. Yes. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I want to give your zero creature double strike. Aha! Take that, Chris. Double zero. Gilbert Arenas on deck. All right. Go ahead. Kyoji, I think. Dual heritage uses the power of gray skull, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> You're right, infinite tokens. I so like I got really excited because I was like find ultra fine tip markers because my handwriting is like a thing that I really like enjoy. And I didn't think about how they would actually like mm. show from like above. So I need to mm. get actual like regular dry erase, fortunately. It's more like a flow chart than a token. <laughs> yeah, well see, I can't draw, I can only write. So <laughs> Eventually, eventually, I'll end up scribbling a little person, a little stick figure underneath it. But for the moment, I was like, oh, this makes things easier. Right. Um, yeah, I... They, these are too a little bit too thick for me. I can't I can't even really write. So uh, my handwriting's just terrible. But um, I'm gonna play this Orin Reef, the Vastwood, and I'm gonna crack this familiar sphere for I think a mountain and a uh, a mountain and a forest. Or no, we'll go we'll go with two mountains, and then I will just put those into my hand and pass the turn. Okay. Clavy, uh, you actually blew my mind just now because when I reread Duelist Heritage, I was like, wow, I really can uh, give an opponent's creature double strike. And I had never thought of that before mm -hmm. as using this as a bargaining chip. Yeah, um, it's, it's, it's super neat. All right. Hall of Heliod's Generosity. It's a good one. And I will cast... You know what? I think I want to cast... Uh... I think I want to cast Cedar Condo. All right. And um, does not have haste. Uh, and that's okay. Uh, I will. I think I'll just pass the turn. Right. Untap and draw. Things, things and stuff. Land for turn is a Labyrinth of Scophos. Ooh, fun. I pulled off the, uh, the Labyrinth and the Labyrinth Warden combo and limited once. It was perfect. Nice. I'm going to pay two for a Mirror or Retriever. 1-1, one, one, when it dies, return another target artifact card from a graveyard to my hand. That will untap Traxos. Rutbo, friends. Uh, I will go to combat. Yeah. Stephanie, would you like to give Traxos a double strike? I will not be attacked. <laughs> <you. laughs> oh, ooh. Uh, what do I get? We will get a third game. We will not get it. <laughs> we will get, <laughs> get a third game. <laughs> We will get a third game if you give Traxos double strike here. Uh, <laughs> I, I will not be giving Traxos double strike. Sad. Probably going to unfollow me right after the stream, too. Right? <laughs> wow, no, wait! Wait! <laughs> uh, Traxos uh. will go at um, Nahiri. 7-7 seven, seven, Trample. Oh, I forgot there was a fifth option on the table. <laughs> 
that's sad. All right. Well, here he goes down. Uh, second main, I will cast a card near and dear to my heart. It is a scrap trawler. Hey. Hey, that's me. Perfect. Untap Traxos. Pass the turn to Glaby. All righty. So we're going to untap. We're going to draw. Uh, hmm. Well, let's. All right, I'm going to play an Opal Palace, and then I'm going to tap the Opal Palace, and um, uh, I'm going to use Ancient Tomb. I'm going to use one of the mana from Ancient Tomb to do the Opal Palace filter to do white. Uh, and I'm going to play, it's not quite Kedis, but I'm going to play Keleth, Sun Main Familiar. It's the one that gives counters? It is. Yeah, it's the horse. Those familiars oh, are all... Um, I like all my familiars. I am a... Keleth? Mm. Keleth. Yeah, Sun Main Familiar. Hmm. Uh, I love the, when they were like doing the little Commander Legends bios. They were like, yeah, this horse just appears before battles, choosing a champion. And then after the battle is done, disappears off to the next <laughs> war. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> like, um, so yeah, so we're going to go ahead and uh, Rograk is going to swing Chris. Sure. And Rograk is going to get a 1-1 counter now. Yep. <gasps> so now Rograk is a one, two, first strike menace trample. Hey, thank you for the follow, Corzan. Yeah, thank you for the follow. Yeah. Um, all right, no blocks. So I take one, unless Steph is gonna give a double strike. <laughs> in which case uh, I will take I, two. I I mean, what's in it for me? <laughs> the unless we can unless unless we can think of something that's in it for me. Your, your opponents okay. die fast. <laughs> that that uh, is true. I, ooh, that is true. Um I'd rather I, I, not uh, be one of those people that dies faster. <laughs> I will not be giving it double strike. That's fine. I appreciate it. I will. I'll come up with some incentive at some point, but for now I have nothing. So then I'll pass. <laughs> Chris, there may come a day when I'm going to make you an offer that you can't refuse. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that like Clay's the offer of is like, <laughs> right. yeah, of course. Uh, I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this mountain that I got from the armillary sphere. Um, and I'm going to pay four and I'm going to bring out my commander. So Rashid Meander lets me tap and add four mana to my mana pool. I can spend that mana on uh only on costs with X. And then so neat. Yeah, I'm uh I, I'm I'm excited. I think it's gonna be uh really cool. My ne my next play is not gonna be great. I'm just gonna pass. But um yeah, I'm excited to untap with this and see see how it goes. All right, so over to Steph. All right. I will untap and I will draw. Oh, kind of rad. Okay. Um, so do I want to do th the question is do I want to do that now? Um I mean, what's stopping? and I think what I'll do uh what's stopping me is um protecting my things because I like mm. having things and I don't like it when people take away my things. Um so I think what I will do oh hi kitty. Oh, he says hi, everyone. Yeah. Do you want to come say hello? Come, come sit up on my... This, she's like, can I sit on your lap, Mom? So, of course, the answer has to be yes. Oh, kitty, no. We don't want to knock that over. Okay. Um. Okay. So, uh, I am going to filter this uh, into making a red. I will tap this forest. I will cast Kedis. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I will uh, move to attack. Well, no, sorry. Uh, yes, I'm going to make a red and a red. No, oh, you know what? I'm kidding. I am going to move to attack. I am going to move to attack, and it's going to be rad. Um, I'm going to move to attack. I'm going to. This is now uh, a two five. It can only be blocked by creatures with reach or flying, uh, and that goes for any creature that is uh, power two or less. Mm. So, um, so creatures my opponents control without flying or reach can't block creatures with power two or less. So y'all can block uh, attack each other with creatures with power two or less, but not me. Um, so I'm gonna move to attacks. I'm going to swing at Andy. I think. Mm -hmm. Does it get double strike? Uh, I uh, am going to give it double strike. I see. Uh, yeah, I can't block. Uh, after blocks are declared, but before damage is dealt, I am going to tap two to flash in Gitu Fire Breathing and equip it onto or uh, attach it onto Cedar Condo. Mm -hmm. I am going to tap this for a green and filter it into itself for a red uh, and pump it up one time. Okay. So that is going to be a three five double strike. Uh, so everybody, because Kedis is on the field, takes six. Mm -hmm. Neat. But. Only Andy takes commander damage, correct? But only right. Andy takes Caddis commander damage, or uh, Cedar Condo commander damage. That is correct. Woo, that, uh, the, man, the life I've paid to 
ancient tomb is quickly... <laughs> suddenly mattering. I was like, wait, why am I at why am I at twenty eight? Oh, rip. <laughs> Um, and right. now that I am exposed, uh, I will pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> shields down, shields down. It's so Stephanie, hurt me. Stephanie only knows attack. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true, though. <laughs> uh, land for turn is an emergence zone. Hashtag Ooh. exposed. <laughs> um, I'll go to combat. I will attempt to have revenge, retribution. <laughs> oh, uh, Traxos will go at Stephanie. Ow, I trample. probably deserve that. So I'm taking seven, yeah? If you don't block, yeah. Uh, I declare no blocks. Okay, yep. I don't have any sneaky tricks. And that is seven commander damage. And so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rad, okay. I really like that on the thing, it's like partner, not partner, partner, not partner. So it's like the two numbers, zero, two numbers, like that, that makes me happy on the display. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast a worm coil engine. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll untap Traxos. All right. Uh, that's all I got. <laughs> Pass the turn. Kyoji has a great question. Did you want to give Traxos <laughs> double strike there? Uh, no. Oh, you man. know what? I am not going. I'm going to uh, not give him double strike. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, well, you know, I missed I missed the trigger already. So we're not going to we're not oh, going to rewind. Yeah. yeah. Just... Right. <laughs> No, no takes these backsies. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to pick two, and I'm going to play Ring of Valkus. Um, and then I'm going to pay one, and I'm going to put Ring of Valkus on Rograk. Okay. That cobalt's getting big quick. Um, and then, hmm. Ha! Chris still can't block me. I'm going to swing. <laughs> I'm gonna swing, Chris. I'm gonna counter. Yep, you're so correct. Yeah, two, three. <laughs> I can't. I can't block. I take two and Get two Rograk commander damage. <laughs> and then I'll pass the turn. Alrighty. Every opportunity to poke Chris. I mean, oh yeah. It's like I know we have guests and people, other people I can swing, but like. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's totally fair. I get it. Um. All right. So I'm going to go for the the value play here. I'm gonna tap Rushing Meander for four. I can only use oh. for spells with X in his man in their mana cost. I'm gonna tap five, and I'm gonna play an Astral Cornucopia, which basically does nothing here. But um. So oh, X is counters. three. So I get three charge Sick. counters on it, which is nice. Um. And then I'm gonna tap it for green 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 i will play this yavamaya elder oh yeah and so when it dies i get to go get stuff uh or i can pay two to draw a card but yeah sweet and then that's it for me i will pass the turn all right okay i will draw Ooh. all right an essay on why each card is banned in commander like an essay on each card or like a couple of lines for each card and it just goes through the whole ban list Oop, i forgot how strong my dog is he's little it's strong. Yeah. Hmm. Can Alter Sleeves give me a Rograk one that's Pluto? <laughs> I'll have to get an artist to put it up there. But uh, I'm sure if we ask, ask Chad, well, he might. It's Oof. 33 pages long. Okay. Like a page per card, right? Almost. Not that many cards banned. Yeah, I was about to say I don't I don't think so. Is it just like an abstract philosophy document? Plus there's like a paragraph for each uncard. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. It'd be boring pretty fast. <laughs> and so yeah. each each paragraph is just it's silver bordered. Stop asking. Mm -hmm. As it's silver bordered. Stop asking. All right. I will pay two. Uh and I'm gonna attempt to cast Alpha Authority onto Cedar Condo. So he's going to have Hexproof and can't be blocked by more than one creature. Mm. Um, that's a problem. I have no that, response. That's, mm, uh, yeah, I, I think I think I have to respond. I was hoping to protect myself from Traxos. Uh-oh, um, SpaghettiOs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna condemn Sidar Kondo. Oh, it's attacking! Oh. I didn't read. Oh. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh no! Ah, ah, ah. Just Rip kidding. Off. It resolves. I can't read my cards. I always. Ooh. Brutal. Oh. All right. Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, there's, so so it's that means there's nothing Clay can do. I got nothing. Okay. Yay! All right. Well, I'm going to do that then. Huzzah! Um. <laughs> uh, put target attacking creature on its owner's library. So really, oh, but you won't be able to target it now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's yeah. deeply unfortunate on multiple levels. <laughs> so I think what I will do is uh, not super pick on Andy. Um, <laughs> but pick on Clavy. <laughs> I am going to declare attacks, and I am going to swing at Clavy. Heck yeah! How much? 
Um, if you declare no blockers, because I don't believe you have anything with reach or flying, is that correct? That's correct. Okay. So uh, after blocks, but before damage, I'm going to pay red, red, filter its own green into a red. I am going to pump it up three times. Uh, so that will be a five, five double strike. Everybody takes 10. Oof. All right. That's, that's I would a think, lot. Yeah. That's, this escalated very fast. And I will pass the turn. <laughs> You're all like, I'm not going to pick on Andy, but I, somehow I still hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I somehow I still hurt Andy. <laughs> Ooh, Urza's tower, two thirds of the way there. I believe it's not your tower; it's my tower. <laughs> it's Urza's tower. Uh, I'm I'm probably never going to be able to block Stephanie. Uh, but Stephanie's a huge problem right now. What? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I just a little fine. bit. Don't worry about it. Uh, my my lands don't do anything, so uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to go for attempted player removal. I'm gonna go to combat. Uh, I'll send these both at Stephanie. Oof. So it's Traxos and Worm Coil Engine, isn't that right? Yes. Um, mm. Worm Coil. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head Worm Coil Engines. Six six with Death Touch and Life Link. When he dies, he makes three tokens, right? Two, Two three three tokens. One of Death three, Touch three, and one of Life Link. Okay. Um, um, so, and you can give one of them double strike if you want. Seven. Can you at this time with what's on board? You can't pump up Traxos, can you? No. Okay. Um, I declare no blocks. Okay. I I have no effects. All right. So I'm going to take thirteen damage and seven commander damage. Yeah, and I'll gain six life from work from coil engine. Nice. Two, one, two, three. I'm at 20 and I'm at 14 commander damage. So I, I just realized for some reason, I always thought that worm coil engine created a worm token and a coil token. <laughs> I just, just now reading this card, realized that it was just two worms, but yep. each took one of these. Yeah. Cause it's, um, it's, it's two worms like smashed together. Right. That was what the art is. Human worm style. Yes. Yes. Well, do I want to do anything else? No, I think I will uh, pass the turn. Sweet. I will untap on my upkeep. Ring of Alcus will put a 1 1 counter on Rograk because it is a red. He is a red boy. And I will draw for turn. Ooh. Uh huh. That's kind of interesting. I dread those words in Commander. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, that's interesting. It's like, oh no. What's going to happen next? Do the fun thing. Do the fun thing. Um, I don't know if it's... Oh, I'm mana short. Ha. All right. Well, that makes that, that, <laughs> makes that decision much easier. <laughs> I thought I had another mana. Hmm. Uh, all right. Doing the Ancient Tomb filter one into the Opal Palace for a white. And then two. Uh, we are going to play... Uh, Arden, Trepid Archaeologist. Arden's good. Arden is very good. Um, and so we are going... <laughs> yeah, we are going to go to combat. Arden is going to trigger, and I'm going to move the sword from the core warrior to Rograk. Pretty good. Take away, we're going to take away their sword. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it has to be on flavor, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, and... So... So yeah, so we're going to combat. Um, yeah, I think I think I'm kind of in the same boat as Andy. So I'm going to go ahead and swing Rograk at Stephanie, and Rograk that's oh, going to no. put a one counter. So Rograk is a uh, six seven first strike uh, menace and trample pro green pro blue first strike menace trample. Did you say five or six? It's a six seven. Six seven. Holy Ooh. smokes! And he's got trample, so it doesn't even matter if I block. And every, and menace. He's a blizzard. And menace. So have double strike. Too. And menace. And menace. So yeah, I have to take that. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. not good. Okay, so I take uh twelve. Twelve. Uh, no, well, no. It only has double strike if you decide to give him a double strike. He only has. Oh strike. no! First, <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I confuse it for a second there. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's. I'm taking six damage. Six damage, yes. Six damage. Ouchies. Alrighty. Um, and that's 14. And then sort of body and mind is going to trigger. So I'm going to make a 2-2 two -two wolf, and you are going to mill 10 cards. Oh, good grief. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. You have milled. <laughs> Forest, Inquisitor's Flail, Fiery Emancipation, Ooh. a Mountain, <laughs> uh, Leap to Chance, Fiery Mantle, Urza's Ruinous Blast. Dang it. Uh, Bruce Tarl, Sacred Foundry, and Battlefield Forge. Oh, 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 oh boy. Not sad to see the Fiery Emancipation go. I mean, that would only end the game. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. It just what? ended a little bit. Yeah, just a, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Hey, just a little bit. R E S P E C. Speaking of uh, speaking of the the mill though, uh, we learned on Sunday about how uh, if an opponent has multiple Bruvax, how that works. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrifying when Krim was like, oh, here's three Bruvax and Maddening Cacophony, so oh, you're going to actually build your whole deck. Oh my gosh. It was wild. It was yeah, like, because he had the, uh, he had the blue, um, uh, the blue court. Yeah. And so it was like on your upkeep, uh, uh, you mill, we were milling like 20. And then he was like, here's another copy of Brewback. I was like, all right, cool. You mill 40 on the upkeep. So, so brutal. Oh man. Wow. Oh, that's crazy. But uh, I will go ahead and pass the turn after that. Alrighty, I will untap here. Yes, I have uh, many powers, one of which being summoning Pluto at will. Yeah, I use it all the time when Christian and I are on a call. I just. <laughs> all right, sweet. So I'm gonna tap the Meander for four, tap six, and then I'm gonna play a Stone Coil Serpent for ten. That's and you didn't want to use your card yet. Well, no, because after that, I'm actually gonna cast. Hey, well, let's get no outside, no outside assistance. <laughs> no outside assistance from the dog. <laughs> Judge, yeah, I am actually gonna cast. I just, uh, uh, oh, I just grew mm, on the stone coil mm, serpent. Mm, <laughs> mm. This game's getting out of hand. Just, Stop uh, it. just, a, Stop just it, a little you. bit. <laughs> live, live the dream. Uh, so the problem is, if I attack with my elder that I kind of want to die, nobody can block it. So Wait, uh, what is it? it's a two one. Oh so yeah, you have sorry, have, you're out of yeah. Well, no, I, I, I sacrifice my core for you. you. Do you have reach? Because of summer? oh, I can't block. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. yeah so um, I will no, just I, pass the turn. That's hilarious. <laughs> I don't want to get in for two. I want it to die. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's that's what matters here. All right. I will untap. I will draw. Oh, okay. I mean, oh, those are already tapped, buddy. You can't untap them here. <laughs> I miss coming over to the studio and leaving with my hands just like gnarled from playing with him. <laughs> right. Um. Okay. I would very much like to try to do the fun thing. Heck yeah, do the fun thing. I. That's um, what we're here for. I have. I haven't done this before. This deck has gone through like seventeen <laughs> different edits. <laughs> And I've been running this entire game on like four land right now. Mm -hmm. and, You're doing and pretty just, well. Uh, what you got I'm, there? I'm. I guess. I guess. I kind of want to go for it. Thank you for the follow. BTB yeah. Night, by the way. Thank you. All also, right. hi Gabriel. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go for it. We're going for it. We're going for it, chat. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna cast one, two, three. Uh, and pass on MTG. MTG. Thank you for the follow. Pluto, we're in danger. <laughs> oh, I wish I had one more land. Oh, they get an edit yeah. of him in the burning room, like holding a toy. <laughs> yeah. I'm in danger. <laughs> this, this is fine. This is fine, yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Um. Oh, no. There were 10 on there, dog. <laughs> oh, man. One. I don't think... I just oh, realized, too, that I have Hall of Heliod's Generosity, and if I wanted to get that Fiery Emancipation back, I could. You totally could. I didn't want to mention anything. I totally anything. could. <laughs> Please do um, Pluto. 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 Gosh, Pluto. I wish I had had one more land. Um, then do I want to wait? Chris, cooperate. <laughs> Let him eat the dice. No. <laughs> oh. Because if I do that, then Andy is definitely going to kill me. Gosh, I love that cute dog. Look at that dog. Oh. <gasps> Distraction. Don't look at the dog. Yeah, don't so look at the dog. Precious. Where don't, was I? <laughs> don't look directly at the dog. Yeah. Uh, I I think I'm not going to go for it actually because if I went for it, it means that Andy wins. Um. So would that be the worst thing? <laughs> the end of the world. <laughs> hmm. I'm sorry. I'm taking so long. I am going to. <laughs> Thank you, Gabriel. I'm going to pay two. I'm going to cast these lightning greaves. All right. I am going to attempt to equip those lightning greaves onto Kettis. 
Yeah, no response for me. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just making a big boy on my turn. That's it. Uh, I will probably want to use it for that. I wish I had more land. Man, man, oh man. Uh, I am going to swing at Chris, who does not appear to have any flyers or creatures with reach. Well, Stone Coil Serpent does have reach before you. Oh, uh, does it now? It does. Reach, trample, and protection for multicolor. Oh, oh, and protection for multicolor. Oh, I definitely can't swing at Chris right now. I mean, you can. It's inadvisable, but you can totally do it. <laughs> right. Um, hmm. Sorry, I'm taking forever. I'm going to swing at back at Andy and try to get revenge for, uh, <laughs> for the revenge. giant swing. <laughs> your, your revenge, revenge, revenge for your own revenge. <laughs> Revenge for my re it's it's re revenge. Right, the revengeing. <laughs> the revengeing. Uh, the revengeing too. The revengeing. Revenge harder. Uh, uh, I, I still can't block. So whatever you're gonna do. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to pump it up. Pump so everybody up. take ten again. Alrighty. Oh yeah, because you don't you didn't and, draw land, so it's the same amount. Yeah. So I will pass the turn. I'm not gonna do the fun thing yet. I'm gonna wait to do the fun thing. All right, so that puts me at 16 Sidar damage. Is that right? Okay. That's right. You, really, you hit me twice with that, right? I believe so, yes. I believe okay. I hit you the first time for eight. I think it was six and then 10. Yeah. Yes, that sounds right. Okay. Um, uh, well, not drawing anything. Well, the, the 10 damage, the 10, did I hit you? Did I swing at you for 10, Andy? I got swung for 10. So when when it deals that damage to everybody, it's not commander damage, that 10 right. damage. I right, but you just, win. yeah, but you just hit him for 10 now, so. Correct. Yeah. Correct, correct. Land for turn is a Radiant Fountain. I will gain two life. Yay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I will cast a Mycosynth Lattice. Everything becomes an artifact. Interesting. Okay. It untaps Draxos. Um, hmm. like unless you have the Karn lock, that would be. I do fun. not. Uh, I do not run Karn because I, I don't okay. like the Karn lock. Fair. I just needed to untap Traxos, and that was all I had to do it. Gotcha. Um, I guess I probably could kill Stephanie right now, but I kind of don't want to. But she is going to kill us. So <laughs> maybe I do. Um. Hmm. That stone coil serpent is gigantic. Pretty big. It doesn't have trample, does it? It does. Uh, reach trample for a multicolor. Well, I guess the multicolor doesn't matter now, but reach trample, and then um, at the beginning of my upkeep, it will turn into a 2020. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will go to combat. Um, I will send Traxos at. Um, <laughs> Where is he trying to go? Like, what is <laughs> <laughs> the dog? Like, what is he trying to accomplish? <laughs> I have no yes, idea. Like, you know, what? I'm actually not going to attack. I think he just wants to be I'm comfortable. Just going to pass the turn. Interesting. All righty. So we're going to untap. Um, Rorak is going to get another one-one counter thanks to Ring of Valkus, and then we're going to draw for turn. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Who the fuck is Calvin anyway? Hi, Calvin. <laughs> You're in a tight spot here, huh? Yeah. Without a way to. Hmm. Without a good way to gain life, uh, I'm not certain what I can do. I also don't have any equipment that give reach and or flying. <laughs> I'm kind of just at the general mercy. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's not a great feeling. Hi, Arizona Angels. <laughs> so That's I think adorable. I think in that case we just like go down swinging, right? <laughs> Uh oh. We just I'm gonna I'm gonna take a page from Stephanie's book here. Uh I'm gonna play Kedis. <gasps> <Number one. laughs> oh, he's such okay. a pretty lizard boy. <laughs> That's a pretty lizard boy. We love him. Oh, oh, he's so great. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then there's an uh, to grab Kedis. We're gonna go Oh, Clady, are you gonna do murder things right now? I think so. We're, oh. we're, we're just going to swing. Um, oh, Kelleth is going to... All right, kind of. Kelleth kind of stops that. That's unfortunate. All right. Yep. Uh, Rograk and Arden are both going to swing at... Um, are both going to swing at Stephanie. No. <gasps> so they're each going to get a 1-1 one -one counter from okay. Kelleth. And so Rograk is a 8-9 uh, oh. uh, for Strike Menace Trample. And Kelleth, or I mean Arden, is a 3-3. Three, three. 
8, 9, 10, 11. It'll put me at 3. Uh, if I block the 3-3. Three, three, oh, I don't think uh, Arden gets a plus and plus one counter. Oh, Arden's Arden. not a commander. That's right. There's Chromas. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, oh. um, so, okay. So in that case, actually, I would, I would like to send Arden at Andy, which was my original plan. Um, I'm sorry. I forgot okay. that I had to change commander. No worries. Okay, so 8. I'm going to take 8. Um, so... Arden's just a two two. Arden's just a two two. Yep. And I sense shenanigans. No, the the shenanigans were I was thinking, haha, Arden's my commander, so I'll get to also get extra damage with Kedis at the board, but that no longer right because away. it's Chroma now. Yeah. So oh. it's it's just swinging for two. <laughs> it's not nearly as. I guess I'll block with Worm Coil. Yeah. Uh, so does Worm Coil so, have reach? So Dar's still in in play, right? Yep. Because because Arden is oh, a two. Oh, yeah. that affects all everybody's creatures. Well, yeah. then I'm mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. I have no blocks. All right. Uh, I I'm not gonna block. I will take the eight. One two. All right. Three, four, so seven, everyone will take eight from Rograk. Yep. Um, and then I will get a second wolf, and Stephanie will mill another ten. <laughs> Good grief! All right. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten. And then I take two from Arden. Yes. All right. The ten cards milled were <laughs> Ghostly Prison, a Mountain, Mountain, Oran Frostfang, Axgard Armory, Heroic Intervention, Enlightened Tutor, Shalai, Boros Charm, and a Terramorphic Expanse. Uh, alrighty. And then <laughs> that that's my turn. <laughs> Sweet. Make that make that uh make that stone coil grow. Yeah, let's uh <laughs> I actually I forgot. Grow. I actually thank oh, you. Rangers. Sorry. Yep. So I totally I, forgot I the stone it. coil serpent. Um or the Hydra's growth actually actually puts a one one counter on it. So it's actually gonna be a twenty two twenty two. Oh good. Oh good. I, I feel like <laughs> I feel like I'm supposed to point out that I missed my contractual reference with uh, let it grow, let it grow. Right. <laughs> hey, uh, Chris, do you remember that favor? <laughs> uh, I, I remember some things, yeah. I'm uh, pretty sure that favor, the favor is what I have. I'm pretty the sure the favor is, is please don't kill me. <laughs> I no, think it, it uh I, I would understand. Well, so we, here's the we thing are is all like very close to death right now though. Yeah. Is like Clay is very Clay Clay would kill us. Andy would be able to kill anybody else, and you can kill all of or so Clay can kill all of us, you can kill all of us. Uh although Clay might not be able to kill Andy. Um so it's kind of like whoever I attack win like if I take Steph out, Clay wins. Unless Andy kills Clay, and then I can kill Andy. But Andy can probably kill me. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Chris, if you swing me, I'll condemn your stone coil serpent, and then you can gain enough life to outlast. <laughs> That's true. You make a pretty good bargain. Since do I do I take that? I gain twenty I gain twenty two life, right? Joke's on you, I'm gonna go out. <laughs> <laughs> can see. Just take it. Yeah, all right. I guess that's fair. Oh, you never know. It's just an interesting line to put into your head. Yep, 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 yep. Um <laughs> well I guess I will play this moss fire valley okay so i kill andy steph kills all of us you don't uh, clay you don't have anything that can block um sadar do you i do not dang i've been able unable to find uh reach flying removal <laughs> life gain right another land <laughs> All right. Well, let me um let me up in my elder here. See what I can find. I'm actually I'm gonna pay two and I'm gonna sack it to draw a card. But there's a die trigger that happens before I draw, so I get to go search my library for two basic lands. Uh, put them into my hand. We'll just get these two for us. Ah, uh, yes, uh, thinning the deck. Yeah. Try hard. Well, I mean that's this is how the this is how the thing resolves. So I can't actually not do it this way. <laughs> But you are correct. This is the ideal situation here. Um, okay. So I don't actually know what in this deck gets me out of this, except maybe like, I don't know. I don't think I even have Pelucranos, so I can't like Wrath or anything. Um, ooh, one card. Draw one card. Oh, and it was a basic. Sweet. So that didn't help. Um, yeah. Okay. I think I have to attack. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm doomed either way. All right. Uh, play. Because you hit me so many times with Rograg, I'm going to. <laughs> attack you. You have three Rograk damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, over like six attacks or whatever. <laughs> I would like I would like to hit you for twenty two. 
All right. Well, yeah, sure. Let's do it. All right. All right. All right. Sweet. I will. Con- I will condemn your stone coil serpent. Thank you. Put it on the so, bottom of your library. And I gain twenty two. Yes. All righty. All according to plan. Uh. Oh, okay. And then let's. I hope Steph puts you out. Yeah, she probably will. <laughs> Steph's Which, gonna put all of us out with the, like, I whatever. really, really, really know what I need my top card to be. And um we're just gonna heart the cards it. Excellent. Um, Wait, are you saying that you don't have your sleeves marked with perfume? I what don't, no. <laughs> Can we'll you imagine this. if I had like a hundred different kinds of perfume and like each card was scented and it was like, hmm, a forest. Like <laughs> it's it's yeah, no, it's a legitimate it's, it's one of my strategy. Apps. <laughs> one of my absolute favorite premises of all time is that just all the cards are marked and like oh it's so great all right it's not going to make too much of a difference uh because my second favorite is taking one. your opponent's best cards and throwing them over the bo- over the side of the boat <laughs> <laughs> right i'm gonna tap the meander and cast a hungering hydra for five okay. so can't be blocked by more than one creature and whenever it's self damage, put that many one counters on it but uh that's it for me i'm gonna i'm gonna pass the turn oh goodness i was not expecting chris to gain that much life okay come on come on top card part of the cards you can do it you can do it you can do it you can do it no it's not what i needed <laughs> no Oh, oh, that's just the worst. Okay. Um, Do you need another land? Yeah. Yeah, I needed one more land. I can't believe I've gone this entire game and I've only had four land. Oh, dang it. You got a good chance of winning this game with only four land. It's really, yeah. Yeah, that is that is pretty <sighs> impressive. Like a really good chance, well, too. You. I mean, I don't know if you can kill me, but you can kill everybody else. Second place exists, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so uh you chris have a hungering hydra on board and what else a steel hellkite which does have flying so i can block sadar Kondo. oh wait no i can get it <gasps> i hope so this is, that would be nuts let's do it okay uh i'm gonna get it uh i will tap three uh and i'm gonna cast jessica oh <laughs> <laughs> uh she enters yep. the battlefield with two loyalty counters i'm gonna zero jessica onto cedar condo i'm gonna move to attack i'm going to swing at andy mm-hmm. with kedis and cedar condo with duelist heritage i'm going to give cedar condo uh double strike so um, I believe Cedar Kondo uh, will get times six damage because he will get double strike on attack and then he will deal triple that damage. Mm. I'm going to filter these two green mana into red with Sky Shroud Elf and turn Cedar Kondo into a four five. So six times four is 24 damage. But since I'm also attacking with Kedis, which can also not be blocked by uh, creatures without reach or flying, that should be 25 all the way around. Jessica is exactly what you needed. That's yeah. awesome. It was She was in my opening hand at the beginning of the game, and I was like, do I cast it? Like two turns ago, I wanted to cast her. I'm like, no, no, it's not time. <laughs> Um, I think that's good game. Yeah, no, that was sweet. Yeah, that's exactly right. 25. I think that math checks out, right? Yeah, so because it's, you said uh, Sidar is four. Sidar is four double strike. So that's eight times three is 24. And I also swung in with Kedis, which is 25. Yep. Yeah. That does it. All right. Sweet. Oh, Congratulations. Good game, oh, good good game. That was a lot oh, that was rad. Yeah. I was sitting was... there the whole, like, the whole game waiting for one more land for austere command i was like oh i can just oh. the dark and i can remove like i was like oh this is the perfect answer and then we just never hit it i was like oh okay cool <laughs> that would have hurt my feelings yeah it would have been i mean it wouldn't have been nice but like that was the only way i could conceivably see myself getting out from underneath uh sadar mm-hmm. yeah um, oh that was a blast i haven't that seen was that rad. ggs I, I haven't got to see uh uh jessica cast yet so that was that's super fun um yeah i'm always yeah. when uh two caddis is on board <laughs> <laughs> oh but with all the lizard friends all yeah. the lizard friends <laughs> yeah, forget, forget an omnath pod we just need a caddis pod <gasps> it'll take about we, 20 minutes we, oh gosh <laughs> it'll take about 20 minutes and we'll <laughs> <laughs> Not hey, actually, a, before let's just before really, emblem oh right? yeah caddis Oh, that'd be sick. Um, I actually like uh before I settled on Rograk, I actually really wanted to build uh Keleth and Kedis as just red white aggro 
and like the two of them just pumping each other up. Yeah, uh, it's like oh my two par- my two partners cast cost four mana combined. Let's go. Jeez. Um, but uh, but yeah, no. So yeah, that was a blast. Um, yeah. Do we want to take uh, a couple minute break and then come back for Omnath Pod? Let's do it. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, Andy, you good for for some Omnath yeah. smashing? All right, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, I'll break out my Omnath. All righty. So we we're gonna go on a uh, quick break, but we will be back shortly. So we'll see you guys in just a couple minutes. Don't go anywhere. See you soon. <laughs> 